part of VintageRock.com CES 2010 coverage on high-performance audio, we looked closer at what is being hailed as the very best, 7.1 digital audio surround sound. Blu-ray is not only at the top of the heap for high-definition video, now it offers high-definition, uncompressed, lossless digital audio via Dolby True HD and DTS HD Master Audio technology. To learn more, we decided to go straight to the sources, Dolby, DTS, and HDMI. We got the skinny on Dolby True HD from one of the company's senior managers, Craig Eggers. I'm a musician like a lot of people in your audience, and I gotta tell you, I love Dolby True HD and what it means for musicians. Um, Dolby True HD is our 100% lossless audio technology. What does that mean? It means that we can now capture content in the recording studio, on the mixing stage, and have it reproduced in the home exactly as that mixer might have heard it on the mixing stage or in a concert hall event. Uh, bit for bit identical to the original studio masters is a phrase that you'll hear often. And that basically means that on playback, what you're getting in terms of an audio experience is exactly identical to what was captured in the original event. Dolby True HD is a lossless audio technology. It is compression based, but it's a lossless compression, which means we can rebuild the entire audio signature during playback. The numbers are incredible. With Dolby True HD in a Blu-ray disc, we can do two channel, 24 bit, 192 kilohertz sampling audio. Absolutely incredible audio. In a 5.1 or 7.1 environment, you're still looking at master quality audio, 24 bit, 96 kilohertz sampling frequency. So from a musician's perspective, I can now sit in my home theater and hear a concert event or a recording in a recording studio exactly as it was captured. Over at DTS, we chatted it up with producer Fred Moore. Uh, DTS Master Audio, uh, DTS HD Master Audio, right. uh, is uh, a lossless uh, codec uh, that's uh, used in Blu-ray disc. Uh, we're gaining, uh, DTS is uh, gaining ground in that space uh, for a number of reasons, uh, but it is uh, a bit for bit identical to what you put in is what you get out. So if I were mixing or maybe going back to uh, an archive of uh, you know old half inch masters or something and I wanted to sample it, it's a uh, you know, 192K 24 bit stereo, uh, I could do that and use the DTS HD master audio encoder uh, to put that on a Blu-ray disc and you would get 192K 24 bit for real uh, audio. So that's really exciting uh, for music. I hope people still care about the quality, the sound quality of music. Um, some artists are taking the initiative, such as uh, Neil Young and Tom Petty, and some notable, uh, had some notable Blu-ray uh, disc releases. Mm -hmm. Very interesting thing about the Blu-ray format for music is, as we all know, we had some failed or nearly successful uh, uh, formats in the past, such as DVD-A and SACD, uh, but it, there was a lot of confusion in the marketplace. You know, somebody would have a DVD player, but it didn't do DVD-A. Oh, gosh. You know, somebody would have a, a Sony machine, and it's like, oh, mine does SACD. It's like, oh, okay, well, but it was, it, it really got, it got blown, I mean, it basically. Um, the thing, looking forward, uh, you know, and actually right at the moment, is that Blu-ray offers a confusion-free format. We wrapped up our quest into HD audio by hitting up HDMI, the licensing agency behind the high-definition multimedia interface. Steve Venuti, the president of HDMI, addressed the spec that supports the new lossless audio formats. Well, HDMI is a single cable that transfers both audio and video data, and the highest quality audio and video data. So, a lot of people think about HDMI as video, as it goes to the screen, you've got your high definition picture, but we've got just the, the same equivalent in audio going over that, 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 that stream too, that cable. So when we launched 1.3 version, which was three years back, we added the audio capabilities of HDMI, we added the new lossless uh, formats. So Master Audio and, and Dolby True HD, those are now passed over, over HDMI. So in terms of audio with those formats, there's not much better you can get. You really are getting... So what did we learn? From a technical point of view, the lossless formats for Blu-ray have hit the audio ceiling. But is it really better than anything before it? Who knows? But now that Neil Young and Tom Petty have opened the door for Blu-ray music releases, more could follow. One way or the other, we'll be there with our ears open.